focus one of our feature uh, races out here today. As we mentioned, the top three uh, riders will be uh, getting in the LA Times tomorrow in the results section. And here is the rundown. Bike number 356 up on top. And your current points leader in this class is Joe Solis out of Whittier, California. Then comes bike number uh, 185, sponsored by uh, Redline Video and Alan Reinald. And that is B uh, Billy DeBeer. Bike number 110 is going to be James Poet. Then comes bike number 75, Steve Reynosa. Bike number 425, Ron Sweet. Bike number 130, John Snyder. Bike number 183, the winner of the second round here, Richard Moore. Bike number 147, Danny Brown. Bike number 136 is Steve Schrader. Then goes bike number 60X, Tyler Turley. Then goes bike number zero from uh, Tarzana is gonna be Michael Collar. Bike number 241, Chris Graval. Bike number 496, Eric Van Marter. Bike number 98, Nick Thoreau. Bike number 80, uh, this is the uh, 600 CC Lockhart Super Street winner this year in AMA Racing here. Bike number 80, Malcolm Hill. Bike number 728 is Larry Ryder. Bike number 943 is going to be Eddie Kawaguchi. Bike number 385, Don Parker. Bike number 11 is going to be Whitney Blakesley. As we mentioned, Whitney Blakesley already in the points hunt here. Out of Costa Mesa, California, sponsored by Champion Milwaukee. Bike number 26 is Ben Williams. Bike number 46, Robert Ullman. Bike number 200, Dennis Hunter. Bike number 862, Gary Corneal. Bike number 178. Uh, I haven't seen him racing for a long time. He's a Northern California rider. Good to see him back out here at Willow Springs again. Mark Ingalls. Bike number 170. The 8 champion this year, Nigel Gale, coming back out after a fifth place finish in the last race. Bike number 999 is going to be Eric Van Light. Bike number 372, Chris Hernandez. And here's the winner of the first round of the uh, Honda Interceptor Series out here. Bike number 10, Don Biava. Bike number 751, Gary LaPlante. Bike number 138, Greg Martin, bike number 618, Matthew uh, Schindler, and rounding out the field, bike number 308, William Whelan. And we've got about 35 riders going in this Honda Interceptor Series race. All these riders on 500cc machines. And look at this uh, field. Boy, we got a, quite a uh, crowd out there for the start of this uh, third round of the Honda Series, as we mentioned. Joe Solis is your points leader. However, he hasn't won a race yet so far. He's been a he's had a second and a third. Your winners so far have been Don Biava and Richard Moore, and we're going to see who's going to be a winner this time. Maybe it, uh, we can have somebody repeat. Don Biava can be uh, take over the points lead with a win out here today in this class. And we got a green flag, and away we go. The third round of the Honda Interceptor Series is underway. Another rider to watch for also uh, could be one of the favorites from Riverside, California, bike number 40, Danny Brown, sponsored uh, by Sunny Mead Motorcycles and Tri-City Cycles. Jim Pinnell is his uh, tuner. Also another rider to watch for is a mission out of Monrovia, sponsored by Redline Video and Temple City Honda, Billy DeBeer.
Okay, it looks like we captured uh, 75. G. Steve Reynosa running in second spot. In third spot, bike number 183, that was Richard Moore. He's running in third. Bike number 170 is going to be Nigel Gill. He's running in fourth spot. And in fifth spot, bike number 80, Malcolm Hill. And it looks like in sixth spot is bike number 241, and that is Chris Rabau. And then comes bike number 30. And we're looking for him on our list here. And bike number 30, we don't have it. Maybe it's 130, John Snyder. We'll have to check that next time around. So pull us up here in the top seven so far. So he's in uh, jeopardy of losing his points lead. If uh, any of these other riders, like Steve Reynosa, or your leader, Whitney Blakesley, who's uh, currently running uh, fifth in the point standings, can move right up into first with a win out here today. And uh, your leaders, once again, looks like Whitney Blakesley going around turn number eight, starting to break away a little bit. But look at this battle for second spot. We've got four riders going for uh, second. And one rider just blows his way through the field. Now that four rider duel for second turned into a seven rider duel for second as they come down the start finish rate. Whitney Blakesley opening up just a little bit of a lead over, it looks like, Nigel Gale running in second. Don Bialba running in fourth spot. It looks like Richard Moore running in third still. pulling it into the pits with a mechanical problem. Now, all right, your leader's heading up the hill. It's still Whitney Blakesley out of Costa Mesa, California, sponsored by Champion Boy Rocky, and he's got the uh, pack right where he wants him, right about two or three seconds behind him. At this stage of the race, he's trying to pull far and farther away, and now we've got one rider starting to split her off from the rest of the group and trying to go and uh, chase Whitney Blakesley down. Well, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, about eight riders going for third place, and they're making a double here in this uh, third round of the Honda Interceptor Series as they go down the back today. And of course, Whitney Blakes, if he can hold on to this lead, after three rounds, we'll have three different winners in this uh, in this uh, Honda Interceptor Series, and he might be able to take over the points lead with a win here. Uh, Jerry Turner to the announcer's tower, please. Jerry Turner to the announcer's tower. Okay, they swing one out of turn number nine, and uh, a little bit farther a gap uh, between the leader and second spot as Whitney Blakesley opens up. We don't see Whitney Blakesley come by the top, did he? Yeah, he came by, didn't he? but we don't see Whitney Blakesley that came by on our tracks. We'll have to check and see if he's out on the racetrack somewhere. If that's the case, bike number 75 takes over the lead. And that would be Steve Reynosa. Got off into the dirt and rode it back onto the racetrack again. 
but he's way down in the pack right now. He's back down in his uh, seventh or eighth position, but he's uh, right there behind Malcolm Hill. Still up there in the top, the top ten, but Steve Renosa now uh, bidding for his first ever Honda Interceptor Series win, as he's got a uh, about a two or three second lead over Nigel Gale. Of course, Nigel Gale would be going for his first Honda Interceptors uh, win. So it looks like uh, your first two winners, Don Biaf and Richard Boyle, who are up there in the hunt. They're finding it very, very difficult to repeat as winners in this Honda Interceptor Series. Steve Reynosa uh, from Roland Heights, California on that Honda 500. He's sponsored by Action Force and Shoei Helmets. And uh, he's showing the rest of the field that he's on his way to winning his first ever Honda Interceptor Series as your leaders go by the start-finish line. Okay, Whitney Blakesley now back down in the seventh spot, as we mentioned, behind Malcolm Hill, who is running in sixth spot. As it stands right now, it's still Reynosa, Nigel Gale, Joe Solis, who's your points leader, might hold on that points lead for the third place finish. Then comes Don Bialva, who won the first round here. He's running in fourth position right now. And then comes bike number 183, that is Richard Moore. And of course, Richard Moore and Don Bialva, both past winners, dueling it out right now for fourth position around this 2.5 mile racetrack. Blakesley starting to pick up in a class that is so evenly matched to get around any riders, it's awfully uh, uh, tough to pass when uh, you're competing against bikes that have just about the same horsepower as your leader's coming out of turn number nine right now. It is bike number 75, Steve Reynosa, and he's got a pretty fair-sized lead coming down the start finish line. Joe Solis now takes over second from Nigel Gale, so Solis really uh, making inroads. He finished second the first time out here in this class. And now he had a third in the last round, and now he's got a second again as he's uh, battling Nigel Gale for second spot. Gale in third. Starter John Rowley looking for uh, our leader. Here he comes out of turn number nine. And it looks like John's going to give him what? The white flag this time around. And there it is. Two and a half miles to go for Steve Renosa. And we'll have our third different winner in this Honda Interceptor Series. Joe Solis running in second spot. Nigel Gale in third. Look at this battle for fourth between Richard Moore and Don Biava. Both those riders going side by side. Those are your two winners of this race the last couple of months. And they're in jeopardy of now of losing that to... Uh, Looks like uh, Steve Renosa with a 139.2. It's about 90.9 .9 miles an hour, 139.2. So now it looks like Renosa is going to go down the record books as winning, uh, being the third rider to win uh, this Honda Interceptor Series. As he goes up the hill right now, we've got uh, Still, Joe Solis and Nigel Gill in a terrific dice for second spot and another uh, terrific dice between Miata and uh, Richard Moore for fourth and fifth. 
We'd like to have the top three places up to the announcer's tower, please, or at least the winner up to the announcer's tower for an interview. I can't give you the money up here because I don't have the check, but uh, we can at least tell you that uh, Honda will be paying you the $400 check.